Hello everyone, how are we all doing? Today is an exciting video, I'm sure you can tell by the title. Today we're doing the autumn wardrobe switchover, which I'm very excited to do actually, because my wardrobe is looking a little bit on the messy side. It's kind of a bit chaotic, we've got half summer stuff, the odd autumn bits thrown in that I've pulled out, new bits that I've got, so it's looking a little bit uh, all over the shop. And I feel like my wardrobe just needs a general sort out anyway, because if you watched my last video, which was, no it wasn't my last video, my last vlog, I got some new bits from Ikea and I have a whole new chest of drawers, which half of it is empty at this current moment in time, because I thought, no point really like, going crazy on it and adding all my summer stuff in when I'm going to have to take it out. So I'm very excited to give my wardrobe a proper sort out and actually properly organise it because I've actually not organised it properly since I moved into this flat and I've been living here for like three months. I have tied it and like sorted it out and like you know that kind of thing but I've not like properly gone through it so I'm very much looking forward to this. Um, I have a whole rail over there which is just full of like autumn bits that I've pulled out, bits I'm wearing, bits I want to wear and I kind of need to figure out what's going on in here so I can figure out what's then going on the rail and what's going in the chest of drawers. Um, all of my autumn stuff currently is under my bed and I've got a suitcase in my cupboard that also has stuff in it so I'm really excited to kind of go through it and figure out what I've got which would be great for going forward and knowing like what I want to buy into and what I don't need to buy into. I won't be getting like coats out um, because actually not, Ooh, saying that, it was cold yesterday, so maybe coats will be a thing, but I need to figure out what I'm going to do with my coats, so I think I'm going to leave coats out, but let me show you the wardrobe, so it's not looking the worst, so this is like jackets, dresses, all bits of bobs here, and then this is all, all of this needs organising basically, it's a bit of a mess, um, but a lot of the stuff in here I haven't actually worn in a while because it's not been warm enough, and some of these bits are a little bit more summery so I'm excited to kind of go through this and pop some of this stuff away. I'm not like the biggest summer person so I don't have endless amounts of summer clothes but I do have a few bits that can definitely be put away and um, I do not need. And then on this side I used to have like my t-shirts and my jeans um, and like sweatshirts and stuff in here but because I've got my chest of drawers I no longer need them to be in here. And the whole idea of getting the chest of drawers was so I could store my bags nicely. But as you can see, I've just shoved everything in here um, and not actually organised it. So that needs to be done. Um, but it also means I can kind of play around with this space a little bit more. And maybe add knitwear. Um, I don't really know where the knitwear is going to go because I've got about three empty drawers. Three, no, two empty drawers in, in my chest of drawers. But I know I need to like move all the balance sorts out. So yes, I'm very excited. I think what I'm going to do to start off is just get everything out, especially in the hanging space, fold up the summer stuff, and then we can crack on with um, getting out the awesome bits, which I'm very excited about. So, let's go. Tell them no, 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 no. Tell them no, 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 no. You've been trying to cater to all the needs. You've been feeling guilty for so long. fold bits and bobs up that so right here I don't know if you can see in the camera there's a pile of like dresses we started with dresses because I thought that was easiest I've put like my fun dresses so I don't know if I've shown you guys these before I probably have but these are like I've got some wintery like a blazer dress and a knit dress which are just good classics and these are like my fun dresses which I never wear but there is occasions for them which is why I have them um and I always have them out and they're like slightly more expensive dresses that I just I'm obsessed with so I've got this Selkie, is it Selkie? Yeah, Selkie dress, which I'm just obsessed with. Um, I wore it in Paris back in March. I haven't worn it since, um, but how cute. Then this is a dress from Zara, which I got last Christmas. Um, it doesn't actually do up. I have to have someone to do it up for me. Um, slash, it's very hard. I need to get it altered to the buttons are just hard to do up basically. Um, it fits me fine but I just love this dress and I love the, the feathers. And then this last dress is, um, where's this from? What's the brand? Miscreants. Um, little tube dress with gloves. I just love this. I just think it's a good classic go-to fun outfit. So these are like my little 
fun dresses, which instantly I knew I was going to put back in my wardrobe. But my dilemma now is that you guys know I love a slip dress. Well, if you've been following me for a while, you know I love a slip dress. And I have an array of slip dresses, and I'm like, which ones do I keep out, and which ones are more summery? Because I don't actually know, and I don't need them all out, because I don't really wear dresses that much in the autumn winter time. I wear them more in the evenings, so I'm going through them now, and trying to be like, okay, well, am I going to wear that in an evening? And I was just thinking about this, I was like, oh, this is such a nice dress, but like, realistically, I'm not going to wear this in an evening, because I'd probably more likely go for something black or like neutral because I've got some really nice neutral dresses so I've already made my decision this is going to be folded away this is from Zara by the way most a good chunk of my slip dresses are from Zara this one I'm going to keep out because it's a black slip midi dress good for occasions if there's like an event that I need to go to that's a little bit more dressy always good Let's see what else I can hang on hang on I've also got this one, which is an old one from Topshop, I've actually not worn this this year, but I refuse to get rid of it because I know there'll be a time when I'll wear it again because it's such a nice dress. Um, do I keep this out for an evening? The thing is, I don't even know how, if I'll have evening occasions to wear something like this. I'm going to keep this one out um, because I love it. Then I have this one. This one I actually haven't worn, but it's a really lovely dress from Zara. It's like um, a long olive green dress, but it's like almost to the floor. It's kind of like a gown. If I was ever to need a quick dress, throw on, I need a long, long dress, this is what I would wear. Um, I'm going to keep that one out too because, you know when you like, I don't want to forget that I have it when it comes to if I can't have that kind of occasion, which could potentially happen. And then these ones are all small slip dresses, so I think I'm just going to figure out, I probably will keep keep most of these out because slip dresses are always a good go-to this one is one i wear in the summer so this one can go away because i probably won't wear it in the winter um knit dresses am i gonna wear this probably not will i style it with something probably not this can go away so that's the decision made Sometimes I have to be really cutthroat with myself because otherwise I will keep everything out. I do have this knit dress. I might keep that one out because it's a little bit more wearable. I mean, I haven't worn it in ages. Maybe this can go in my cell pile. I actually haven't put this dress on my body in a really long time. So let's put that in the cell pile because I don't know if I'm going to wear that. This one is stunning. This is more of a summer dress, really. It's a knit dress, but... I think realistically, I'm probably not going to wear it. Is it sorry, but I'm busy. So you end up doing it yourself. Ooh, hold up, baby, don't take it. In a friendship, if they just fake it, you don't need to put up with their bullshit. Tell them no, 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 no. Hold up, baby, don't stress. Okay, we are getting somewhere. We are getting somewhere. I put in some more jackets and bits and bobs in here. I think my jackets are like my favourite thing when it gets to autumn winter. I have so many coats and jackets. So that is why there's so many in here. But I don't have, often have like a lot of hanging clothes. T-shirts and jumpers I mostly fold, so there's not always a ton of stuff to fold. No, hang. Um, but I've just gone through my drawer that I had my shorts in. Obviously, you don't really need shorts anymore, so they're in the pile of stuff to pack away. And I think when I pack the stuff away, I'm going to go through the stuff again and see if there's anything that's like, you know, when you wear something so much and it gets a bit ratty, you know, get rid of those things. Um, but in terms of selling stuff, when it comes to summer stuff, I will sell the stuff when I do my refresh in spring next year because there is literally no point me trying to sell summer stuff now and no one's going to buy it so most of the stuff i will just pack away and then i will reevaluate in spring but we're looking quite good because basically my one issue is that i often don't have like evening tops and i never have my kind of basic tops split up from my evening tops so i've decided that the nicer kind of tops and stuff like that that I would probably wear on an evening date situation are going to be hung so that when it comes to okay I need a nice top to wear with jeans they're hung in my wardrobe versus being in drawers because 
I usually keep like all of these basic tops in one drawer and then I don't see the like nicer ones. So that's my plan. The drawer, the other drawer is like drawer that I had for trousers in. Usually I hang all my trousers, but because there's not always a lot of space, I don't hang all the trousers in there. So, but I do also have my drawers. So I'm kind of at the moment just trying to get the summer stuff out and then I'm going to sort as I go and hopefully I can figure out some sort of organisational system for this because I haven't even got my autumn winter stuff out yet and I don't know what I have. So I think what I'm going to do is move all the summer stuff out of the way. I'm going to go carry on going through the rest of my wardrobe and see if there's anything more summery to get like put away. And then I'm going to get the autumn stuff out because I feel like I can't really go much further until the autumn stuff is out. This is the thing I hate about wardrobe like watch switchovers is that whilst I can tidy it as I go, I then kind of don't want to put things away if I'm going to move it. So that is what I'm going to do. This... This is where it gets more exciting. Um, okay, there's not really a huge amount of stuff in there. Um, but I've got out my, well, this is two of the bags of stuff. I have another bag which I think just has coats in. And then I have a suitcase. And um, yes, oh, this excites me so much. Um, there are so much stuff in here. Oh my God, I don't even know where to start. Okay, we've got if you guys remember from last year, if you're even someone who's followed me for a long time, I love myself a beanie, so I'm so excited to wear these again. Beanies, hats, love hat. Um, I'm basically going to go through this now and figure out if there's anything that I don't want this year that I can sell because I always like to do like a vet. Is it a vet? What do you call it? I just like to go through it and be like, am I realistically going to wear that? Probably not and then I'll sell it. Um, so, yeah, I'm not even entirely sure what's in here. Um, oh my God, these, fun little story for you. Um, you know like how in life, when you like go through your mum's wardrobe or whatever, she's like, oh, I used to wear that for that. I wore that when I was 15 or something, do you know what I mean? Well, these trousers are a pair of trousers that I refuse to get rid of. Not because like, they don't, they fit me perfectly fine, but, they're not like a trendy piece, they're a pair of leopard print trousers. Whilst leopard print is always kind of a thing, they're just not always the type of trousers I want to wear and they are like a kind of more of a tapered cigarette style um, because they are quite old and you know, baggy jeans and stuff weren't the thing then. Um, I got these when I worked at Topshop, I think I probably got these in 2017, 2018. Um, I'm not entirely sure. It was around 2017, I think. Um, so I've had them for quite a while now. And I just love them. I think they're a really cool pair of trousers. So every year I get them out. I don't necessarily wear them every year. Um, I try to. But they're a piece I'm not ready to let go of. And my mum ta tailored them to fit me. So, yeah. One of my favourite wardrobe pieces ever. So, oh. Your boundaries, girl. You hit too close to the edge now. Only thing they got is toxicity. Think you need to cleanse till the shit out. You got the bags, but they ain't got yours. Okay, you I've emptied everything from the two bags under the bed and my suitcase. The only there's only a few bits under my bed left, which I think has coats in. I'm gonna double check before I start sorting this out. But I forgot I had so many of these things. So I'm very excited about it. A lot of it is more cosy knitwear stuff. And I'm gonna go through it all, figure out what I'm keeping, what I wanna sell, etc. And then hopefully the wardrobe will start coming together. Because right now I'm having regrets. I'm having that regret where you're like, why did I start this? It will be worth it in the end. I really hope it is. Okay, let me update you on the situation looks chaotic but I promise you it's organised. Here is all of my summer stuff that I want to put away. Um, I'm probably going to find like shoes and other bits and bobs so I'm just putting it all here and then I'll put it all away at the end. So this is summer stuff to be packed away. Then we have my trench coats and a couple of jackets and then all of my winter accessories aka hats and scarves. They're all there because I don't need to deal with those right now. This rail is still looking the same. 
Then this is my absolute mound of knitwear, which I'm gonna have to go through and try and either cut down, sell some bits or something because I don't need this much knitwear. And um, yeah, I didn't realize it was that much, so that's great. Um, those bits are all miscellaneous bits. This is top, some of these are like long sleeve tops. Some of them are nice tops. Um, I'm hoping I can get some of these in my t-shirt drawer, but I've not gone through my t-shirt drawer yet. So that's those. Then I've got a couple of skirts and then these are all trousers that I just need to figure out how I'm gonna sort my trousers out. Um, and then over here I have, this is my cell pile. Um, this will probably get a lot bigger, um, but I'm just kind of, as I'm going through things, I'm just making a pile of them, popping them there. All of my coats are in this area. It doesn't look like a lot of coats, but I think it's because I've like squished them all down and also I got rid of loads before I moved. And then this is just random bits that I need to like actually put away. So yeah, this is the um, current situation. My wardrobe itself is looking quite tidy. Obviously I've got an empty drawer here. Not yet sure what I'm gonna put in there. Might do like my hats and stuff in there. Um, and then I've got a couple of drawers to put back in here. And then the plan for in here, excuse the chaos, is to do knitwear, knitwear, bags, bags, knitwear. Um, and the only reason I'm splitting up the knitwear is because I want my bags to be easy accessible because I get the bags out all the time. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't, ideally I'd like to have like a full on like display shelf for all these bags because I forget what I have. But um, I don't have that so we're going with this solution for now it may change at a later date but this is what we're going for and then what I'll do is just put knitwear down there that's like not my favorite knitwear or like certain knitwear that is more chunky or whatever and I can move it about um, and then down there by the way is just like I have like gym wear in a box and then like my that's my changing skirt for when I shoot content outside and then my hair tools so yeah, and then, oh, I didn't show you in here. So this is my t-shirt drawer, which I'm yet to go through. I just had to move some t-shirts in there. So that's why it's full. It's not usually this full. Um, this is probably going to be my hoodies drawer. Um, again, might change, but at the moment I'm going to put hoodies in here. Then this is jeans. I need to organize this and because I took a few out because they were a little bit summery. Then this one is all my sweatshirts. Again, it looks a bit empty because half of them are in the wash and my washing machine currently doesn't work. So, um, yeah, but this will be where my sweatshirts go. Again, if it gets too full, I will try and either sell them or reorganise this to make it a better solution for the space. But I don't know. I'm kind of just guessing at this moment in time. And then in this drawer, which I can't open because the something happened to the bottom of the drawer, so I took this out. And filled this up this has got track suits in it i don't need my track suits really right now so i'm gonna sort this whole drawer situation out another day um essentially the little bar at the bottom has like got stuck and i need to take everything out of all the drawers out and then um do it from there but i can't be able to do that today so that's that and then this one also has track suits in it again my track suits are something i need to go through but it's not something i need to worry about right now so i'm just kind of putting them away and just leaving them there so that is the current situation i'm now going to crack on and try and put things away so i can clear some more space and then this will look nicer and then i can see where i'm at guys it's looking a little bit better so i say better this is looking more full um i basically added in some nicer tops here um the more kind of dressier knitted tops um ones that kind of look better hung i won't wear them if they're folded because i won't see them then i've got my trousers and then some skirts here um nothing major then i put in here in this drawer i've just got it looks really messy but it is organized um i've got like long sleeve tops that i found from under my bed um this is like random little nice tops um back ones are like little t-shirts these are just like basic tops this drawer I haven't gone through yet. And then in here, I've just put all of my casual trousers. So leather trousers, knit trousers, they're all in there. I haven't really like properly gone through this because we're not quite at like cold weather where I'm gonna wear all these things. So they're just kind of staying in here for now. And this is where I'm gonna keep all my casual trousers that don't wanna be hung. Um, so non-smart trousers, basically. Pajamas, still the same as always. I've just tidied it. Um, I have got some pajamas put in there. So that's that. Um, I still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that drawer yet. And then in here, 
Okay, excuse the bags, but we've basically put in all of my knitwear. I say we, me. Um, so I've kind of tried to organise it. These are more like bigger, chunkier knits that are like, well, I would say semi-chunky knits. Um, that are like more baggy, those kind of jumpers. These are all like roll neck thinner jumpers like a higher neck but they're thinner so they're not like super chunky and then got some other knits here my bags i'm yet to go through that's something else i need to do but that's not urgent and then um in here are like super chunky knits so these are like when it starts to get proper cold they're all sitting here for now because i don't really need them but at the same time like the easy accessible kind of situation so that's that and then in here I've organised, so this is all of my t-shirts, I've taken out some of the more summery ones, I find t-shirts hard because I just don't know what I'm going to be wanting to wear, half of these I probably won't wear, like these are all graphic tees that probably won't get worn because I'll be wearing a jumper, but I've kept them out for now, I can always put them away, and then these are like plain t-shirts, and then these ones are like long sleeve tops kind of vibe. Um, my jeans are the exact same. This has just got a few more hoodies in it. It's not very organised because I don't really have much in there at the moment. Um, and then that is also the same. Um, and that is also the same. So we're slowly getting rid of the pile on the bed and getting everything in here. It's getting there. It's just a process. Um, I'm just trying to find all the homes for like the random bits and bobs. Um, but it is getting there. It's getting there. I'm excited to put all this away. And then I can put all the summer stuff away. And I think this room will start feeling more organised. I do also want to put some of these bits away in my wardrobe. Because I don't need them all out on here. They were all out on here because it was easier. But now I don't need them out on here. And I've got all of my trench coats that I need to hang on here for now. Until I feel like figure out my um, coat situation. So, yeah. done it we're done well yes we are done everything is away um for now as you can see the wardrobe looks fairly tidy um i still have my pile of stuff that i need to sell i'm just going to pop it in my cupboard for now so we don't have to see it because i'm not dealing with that today i need to chill um i have put all of my coats back under my bed because i need to get some hooks for my cupboard door so i can hang the coats on that before I get them out. It's also not cold enough for coats just yet, so I don't need to stress about that. But I've hung my trench coats on the rail, which I'll show you in a second. Um, I've got a few bits that just need homes, but I am done for today. I'm gonna go and chill because it's three o'clock. Um, but I'll give you a quick whiz round of the situation so we can show you what it's looking like. So starting over here with the rail, I've basically hung my trench coats on here. I need to properly try them all on and figure out if I wanna keep them all. Um, but because we're not quite in trench coat season, I don't really know what I'm going to be gravitating towards. So I've just hung them here. I don't have any place to hang them in my cupboard yet. So they're here for now. And then I've just left some of the pieces that were on here before um, that I want to style again. Or I just want to kind of get some more wear out of. They're also on here. And then this is my pile of sell stuff. Um, again, I need to just put it somewhere and I will be putting that on Vinted very, very soon. The drawers are all pretty much the same as they were nothing majorly has changed that one's quite messy um so yeah nothing really majorly different in there and then the main difference is the cupboard so cupboard even wardrobe um so it does look quite full because i've got a lot of jackets in here jackets like i said are my favorite thing um so i do i do want to go through them properly but for now they're all out here um, and then I've obviously got my tops and then my trousers and then skirts there um, and then here I've got my jewellery box um, some other bits and bobs here and then behind that I've got my scarves it's not really winter yet so I've just kind of hidden them behind there um, so that will do for now I haven't gone through this drawer but the majority of this drawer is sunglasses um, so all of these are sunglasses and then I just have random bits and bobs around it so i do need to go through this but it's kind of just accessories so if i have any extras i can put them in here then i've got basic tops in this drawer um this 
wardrobe is like falling apart but i did get it off someone in my old flat so i didn't actually buy it fresh but anyway um then i've got casual trousers in here just added a few pairs on the top pajamas this one is underwear this one's socks and then in here i put all of my hats so i have a lot of beanies and i love to be able to get to my hats i used to have my hats in this drawer behind my sunglasses um but i love a hat and i really want to make the most out of my winter hats this year so they're all in here um i've got some really lovely ones this is my favorite gani one and then i've got some caps as well because i do love a cap in the autumn winter time as well and then the main difference i guess is in here i did obviously show you my knitwear before um i've still got some gaps so i can put some more stuff in here and then i organize my bags to the best of my ability this looks so messy but i can't make them look tidy i think what i need to do is get some baskets or something so i can put all the little bags like the really little ones all together and then i can make better use of the space i could move these shelves if i wanted to but um yeah for now it'll do i'm gonna probably play around with it at other times but that is basically what it's looking like 